Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will be going to solve two very interesting problems based on designing of monostable multivibrator using operational amplifier. I request you to go through my last two videos based on monostable multivibrator using operational amplifier in which I have covered all the basic fundamentals related monostable multivibrator. Here I will be solving two interesting questions. Before I start with solution, I want you to try all those questions first. So let me show you those questions. See this is first question, reach the video in between and this is second question. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now I am going to solve first question over here. See in first question what is given? We have been given with designing of monostable multivibrator which will produce output pulse of width of 20 millisecond. And here we need to draw circuit as well as waveforms. See this circuit that I have already covered in my last video. So I am directly taking this circuit from it. Here I will explain you how to identify values of these components like what is the value of C, what is the value of RF, what is the value of R1 and R2. So let us try to understand how to design this circuit. See we need to produce output pulse of 20 millisecond. In my last video I have derived pulse width of monostable multivibrator that is T is equals to RF into C ln of 1 plus R1 by R2. So same equation that we are dealing with to use over here. So here width of pulse that is T that is equals to RFC into ln of 1 plus R1 divided by R2. Now here see with this equation we have been given with width of pulse that is 20 millisecond. So first of all we need to assume value of R1 and R2. If I say R1 and R2 both are equal and its value is 1 kilo ohm. Then this equation that is getting simplified a bit. Here T is equal to 20 millisecond. So 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 that is equals to RF into C ln of 1 plus R1 by R2 that is of 1, so 1 plus 1. So here we will be having RF into C that is equals to 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by ln of 2. ln of 2 that is 0 0.693. Now we need to identify value of RF and C. So out of these two we need to select value of one component. Let us assume capacitance value that is of 1 microfarad. So in this situation RF will be how much? RF will be 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 0.693 and this capacitance that will go in denominator 1 micro means 10 to the power minus 6. So here if you solve this in calculator you will be getting value of RF. Let me check what is my answer. So here RF is 28.86 kilo ohm, right? So that is how we can identify value of all the components. So now what I'll do is I'll be going to place values of this component in circuit and by these values you will be getting width of pulse that is of 20 millisecond, right? So now we are having values of all the components here R1 that is equals to 1 kilo ohm. R2 that is equals to 1 kilo ohm, RF that we have calculated that is of 28.86 kilo ohm and value of capacitance that we have selected that is of 1 micro Faraday, right. So if you have these values of components then output will be having width of pulse which will be of 20 millisecond as per this equation. Right. Now I am going to explain you waveforms of this circuit. So to understand waveforms of this circuit you need to go through my last two videos in which I have explained waveforms as well as working. Here I will explain you that in brief. See with monostable multivibrator there are two states. One is stable state and second is quasi stable state. Stable state will be having change as if we give negative going pulse. Means by having trigger we can change stable state. But quasi stable state that changes automatically. Let me explain you that by waveform. See if 
this v trigger that is having zero voltage if v trigger that is having zero voltage in that case monostable that will be staying in stable state here stable state is having v plus voltage stable state is having v plus voltage at output side and at that time what is the output of v1 see v1 v1 that is a voltage which is happening across parallel combination of c and diode as if output is v plus at that time diode comes in forward bias so at terminal v1 voltage will be diode forward bias voltage in silicon it will be 0 0.7 right so here v1 will be diode forward bias voltage that is vd if it is of silicon then 0 0.7 voltage that will be appearing at v1 right now we are deal with to understand quasi stable state so as i have told you stable state changes only if we give trigger here we will be giving trigger by negative going pulse so here at trigger we will be applying negative going pulse you see and by this negative going pulse here this stable state that is changing it will be now changing from plus v to minus v right it will be going to change from plus v to minus v right and width of this quasi stable state that is t over here and that t that is given to us that is 20 millisecond and for which only we have selected this value of components right so here width of pulse over here that is 20 millisecond right after which automatically after which automatically state will change from minus v to plus v right so this change that happens automatically and here why it is changing automatically it is changing automatically because of voltage at v1 that is happening as per capacitor voltage see as if output voltage that is minus v as if output voltage that is minus v at the time negative voltage will come in this feedback so at v1 terminal at v1 terminal voltage will be capacitor voltage that will be vc right and as per vc voltage here this capacitor that is getting charged by minus v voltage so here you see capacitor that is getting charged so v1 will be vc so capacitor will be going to charge like this and as if this value of vc that is exceeding v2 in that case there is a transition and that transition will again make output to plus v voltage and immediately voltage will become vd over here right and what is the value of v2 that value of v2 that even i have explained you in my last video that value of v2 that has to be minus v into r1 divided by r1 plus r2 right so this is how waveforms are there and all these waveforms that i have already covered in my earlier videos in which i have explained all the things in great details here i have just explained you bit glimpse of this monostable multi vibrator now let us solve second question see in second question we are deal with to find width of pulse for given circuit so here we have been given with circuit in which values of components that is given to us so what is the width of pulse means what is the duration of this width of pulse for quasi stable state that is the question so if you want to solve that i have already explained you that formula what is that formula t is equals to rf into c ln of 1 plus r1 by r2 here we need to substitute values only rf is 4.7 kilo ohm kilo means 10 to the power 3 here c is 1 microfarad so into 1 micro means 10 to the power minus 6 into ln of 1 plus r1 by r2 r1 is 10 and r2 is 15 right so you just solve this in calculator you will be getting width of pulse let me check what is my answer my answer for this question that is 2.4 millisecond 
so if values of components are given to you you can find duration of width of pulse for quasi stable state right so this is now there can be question based on designing of mono stable multi vibrator using operational amplifier at that time you should be knowing how duration of width of pulse will be there in quasi stable state that is there as per this equation right sometimes you may need to design circuit based on this equation sometimes they may be giving you circuit and based on that you may need to find value of duration of width of pulse probably now i think you are having fair enough idea about how exactly mono stable multi vibrator functions still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video